Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we have taken it up from this topic of probability. And we are continuing our series of questions on JWE advanced. So today's question, we have taken it up from the year 2012. And if I talk about the question here, we have been given that a ship is fitted with three engines, E1, E2, and E3. And we have been told each of these engines function independently of each other. And the respective probabilities of each engine working is given to us as half, 1 by 4. Further, they have told us, for the ship to be operational, at least two engines must function. So if at least two engines are functioning, then your ship is operational. Then we have also been told that X is the event that the ship is operational. This is the event given to us. And then we have also been told X1, X2 and X3 are denoting the events such that your engines E1, E2 and E3 are functioning. So basically we understand probability of X1 is nothing but the engine even functioning probability, which is half. Probability of X2 is given to us as one by four and probability of X3 is given to us as okay. So these are the respective probabilities of engines E1, E2 and E3, which are functional. Then we have been asked which of the following options are true. So there can be more than one correct answer again. First option which is given to us here says probability of complement of X1 given that event X occurs means the ship is operational. That is equal to 3 by 16. Second option given to us is probability of exactly two engines of the ship are functioning given by the conditional probability of X again, which says that the ship is operational, that is equal to seven by eight. Third option, which is given to us is probability that the ship is oper operational given that X2, that is engine two is functioning, that is equal to five by 16 given to us. And the last option is given to us as probability of, again, the ship being operational given that engine one is functioning. That is equal to 16. So we have to figure out all these four options and check which of them are the correct ones. So let's find that out. First thing, when we have been told that the engines even E2 and E3 are the independent events. So we talk about independent events, we already know that probability of the two events occurring together, that is A and B, or probability of both happening together is nothing but product of their individual probability. So we will use this idea for independent events. Now we have been told that the ship is operational. It is denoted by event X. So if I want to find the probability of X such that the ship is operational, we already have been given a condition that the ship is only operational when at least two engines are functioning out of three. So I can have the probability here that engine one is functioning, engine two is functioning, and engine three is not functioning. So we are taking complement of that. Or it can be the case that engine one and three are functioning and engine two is not functioning. Then also the ship is operational because two engines are still working. It also can be the case when first engine is not functioning and the two engines are functioning and there can be one more case because we have been told at least two engines are functioning so if all the three engines are functioning then also the ship becomes operational so if i have this probability of a intersection b we know it is 
nothing but product of individual probabilities. So it becomes product of probability of x1, which is 1 by 2. Probability of x2, which is 1 by 4. And the complement of x3. So complement of x3, if you find it out, get probability of the complement of x3 is 1 minus 1 by 4, which is 3 fourths. Probability of complement of x2 is also 3 fourths. And probability of x1's complement is 7. So we have this as 3 fourths. Or probability of x1, which is again 1 by 2. Probability of the complement of x2, which we found out 3 by 4. And probability of x3, we know it's again 1. For this, we know complement of x1, that is again half. Then we have x2, 1 by 4, and x3 also 1. Probability of all the three functioning together, it's 1 by 2, it's 1 by 3. You just need to solve this. So 4, 4, 16, 32. Everywhere the product is 32 in the denominator, so let's keep it as you see. Here we have 1 into 1 into 3, 3 again. Here you have 1 into 1 into 1, so 1. Here also you have 1. So you get this as 8 by 32. So that becomes 1. So we get the idea that probability that the shift is operational is 1. Now let's check for the options. Now when we have been given the first option, it says probability of x1's complement given that probability of x1. So if I use the idea first, this is a conditional probability. Probability of a given that b occurs, I can write that as probability of a intersection b upon probability of b. So that is the idea we'll be using here. We have been given x1 complement upon x. That if I solve for here. It tells me that it is probability of x intersection x1 upon probability of x. So you get this as probability of x and x1 complements intersection. So x and x1's complement intersection is just this. So in only because we found probability of x, there were four conditions. And the only condition which matches here, which is common with x1 complement is this. So if I write this, we have this as common thing you get that as x1 was complemented, intersection with x2 and x3 working. Probability of x we have it in the denominator. You get this x1 complement was half, x2 and x3 were given to us functioning probabilities 1 by 4, 1 by 4. Probability of x we just carried out that was 1 by 4. It's cancelled. Get that becoming one. So you get the probability of x1 complement given x occurs as 1 by 8, which is not correct as the option given to us. So this is not the correct option. Let's figure out the second idea. Second, it's telling us probability that exactly two engines are functioning with the probability given that x has occurred means the shift is operation. So again, if you apply the idea, you get exactly two engines working with common of probability of x, that is the shift is operational upon, you get that as probability of x. Probability of x in the denominator, we know already it's one fourth. Probability of exactly two engines working with common of probability of event X. So exactly two engines were working in this case. Exactly two engines were working in this case as well as in this case. So we have to add all of these three probabilities. So if you add all of these probabilities where X3 was complemented, you get that as 3 by 32, 3 by 32 and 1 by 3. So you get that becoming 3 plus 3 plus 1. So you get that as 7 by 3. And 1 by 4, take it here, 4 ones are 4. So you get that. 
So you get the answer for this as 7 by 8 and this is the same answer given cost. So B is the correct option for the question given cost. Now let's figure out the third one. Third option which is given to us says probability that ship is operational with X2. So probability of common between X and X2 for probability of X2. Now if I solve this probability of common between X and X2, so common between X and X2 if I show it by the orange color. Here we had X and X2 being common. Here we had, here we didn't have x2 and x being common because x2 was complemented. Here we had x2 and x being com common and here also we had x2 and x being common. So with that, we get the idea that apart from x2 being complemented, which was this case, apart from this, we can add this idea, we can add this idea and we can add this. So if I add this, you get 3 plus 1 plus 1, which is 5 by 32. So you get 3 plus 1 plus 1. And the probability of x2 is given to us 1 by 4, which is 5 by 32. So you get that. See the option if that matches. It's not 5 by 8 given, it's 5 by 16 given. So if I remove this box, so it becomes easier for us to now, let's talk about this. The last option which is going to us, option D. So if I talk about option D, it is given to me. Probability that x being x1 occurs. So again, the conditional probability. So in x and x1, we have to find common. Denominator is having probability of x1. So here, if you see, probability of x1, which is given to us, is half. So in the denominator, we directly have that half. Probability of common between x and x1, if you see, here you have between x and x1 common. Here also you have that common thing because x1 is present here in x. Here you have complement of that, so this does not work. Here you have again x and x1 common. So these are the three terms which you are going to add. So first, second, and the fourth term. So you again get 7 by 32 because you have 3 plus 3 plus 1. So 7 by 32 into 2, 2 1s, 2 16s, you get 7 by 16. So if you see the option for it, you get that as 7 by 16. And if you see, this is again the So from this question, we get two correct answers again that are options B and D. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which have been given independent events with certain ideas of conditional probabilities also used. So you have to just use this idea. So we solve the entire question based on these four ideas. So these four ideas are important to be understood. Once you understand these ideas, you can easily solve the entire question. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. Till then, you can like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JWT. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving every day. Thank you.